So if I go here to my cube and I want to add more levels, I can easily go to my fracture, then click here, one of those, and we may want to go to uniform to, to make a boronoid fracture. So let's say we want to choose all this. We just need to click those with shift and then click fracture. And what you will see here is that I have another level here, which is my level two. And this one has other chunks here, okay? Uh, smaller chunks. And you can do the same for this. You can add another level of fracture and we can even put something like super small here. Like let's fracture something like this. Okay, now these pieces have even higher smaller pieces to destroy. So what I want to do now is to go here and save and let's check play what happens. Okay, and looks like nothing is happening and the reason is we haven't put more damage thresholds here. So for this one we want to put like maybe 2500 or maybe 50. And now you can see that it's working. Like we have smaller pieces here. And depending on how fast this one falls, let's say 500. If I put like 500, uh, the small pieces won't be activated. So it's just a matter of playing with, let's just say 700 and then 250 for this. And you will see that first we destroy the first level with 700 and then we need like 150 to destroy the smaller one. Okay, and we can even go lower, some, something like 50. And this will make it very obvious that I have very small assets here. And this is how we can improve the quality of our destruction by having big, medium and small elements will make our asset look nicer in the destruction.